<laughs> like, literally, like, look at look at their life. A lot of people, when they're negative and they don't have anything good to say, 10 times out of 10, they're in 3D. And they, they're miserable. Projection is real, especially from low-level people who are still operating from their lower self. It's projection. That's really how they feel about themselves. But regardless of all of that, they're going to eat, okay? Like, I want y'all to, like, start doing this. When people do whatever, in your mind, just be like, okay. Because God going to make you eat it. God going to make you eat them same words. Those same words you thought you was going to try to use to hurt me, it's going to come back on you, baby. And while you're still trying to wish and manifest bad things for me, you're going to just keep seeing me level, like, level up more and more. It's, I'm telling you, this the, the each year that's going by, the veil is being lifted. More people's eyes are being awakened, especially the chosen ones. They're realizing who they are. It took me a long time to realize who I am, but I know who I am now. And I'm on fire. Nothing's going to put this fire out, period. And that's the same for you. I'm speaking that over your life as well. It's the same for you. But let, let the miserable people talk. Just understand, you left that misery party. When you re when you find out who you are, your self-love is going to literally shoot through the roof. And you're no longer going to be in 3D, but you're going to be in 5D. Okay? Sometimes I can drop down a little bit <laughs> to back to 3D if I'm not doing my meditation practices, not doing my mirror work, not doing my affirmations, not journaling. You know, but for the most part, no. Mm-mm. I don't I don't ever want to go. I don't want to be in that frequency. It's very low, it's very miserable, it's very sad. And that's why they feel comfortable saying those things to you is because that's where they're at. Nobody remember, nobody that is truly happy with their life, happy with themselves, happy with the people that's in their life will take time. Remember time. Even though I know time is an illusion, but still. Okay, while we're still here in this 3D matrix, they would never take their time out. They're not going to get back to want to talk tra trash about you, stalk you, you know, again, just crazy weird stuff. They're, they're not going to waste their time doing that if they truly love themselves. So know that when people talk down on you, they're losers. And it's really downhill for them. Don't feel bad for people like that. And I'm not saying talk trash about me. But I'm just getting my little vents out. But... Just, again, for you, it's up. So let them talk. And remember, they're going to they're gonna be gagging on those same words that they thought they were going to curse you with. Okay? But yeah, gang. So I'm going to be closing down the shop for right now, okay? Closing down the chop shop my mouth. <laughs> and I'll be back, okay? Not like I've said, I promise y'all I'm going to be more consistent coming through with these messages for y'all. But yeah, a lot of times when I'm just to myself, I'm meditating. I'm I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm I'm really enjoying. Like once God moves you into that isolation period, every chosen one goes to isolation. It's so crazy. Like seeing every seeing other chosen ones online talk about the isolation. The isolation. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an updated video because I did do a video on isolation, but I want to make an updated one because it's been about three months I think now. Let me see. Oh, almost five months. It's been almost like five months. And this is the best I ever felt in my life. Because God isolated me from the hot messes that I thought I needed. That I thought I needed. But he realized. He let me realize. He's all I need. The isolation will make you realize that. But that, again, that's a whole other video. But y'all understand that God will always get the last laugh and the last word. So don't fall into that trap. When you feel, when I see celebrities go back and forth online with people, it literally makes me sick to my stomach. I'll be like, don't, don't go back and forth with people. Because now, instead of the universe, instead of that, that just coming back on them, now it's going to hit both of y'all. Don't get caught up in back and forths. Remove yourself, block. And they're gonna, they're, especially on social media, oh my gosh, they're going to make all types of fake pages, watch you, lurk you, lurk you on there, try to make little petty stupid comments from fake pages, talking talking trash, block them and keep it moving. But do not go back, do not fall into the back and forth game, please. 
They're measurable. And they're energy vampires. When you go back and forth with people, this is just a quick thing before I go. When you go back and forth with people, you're liter it's literally an energy exchange. You are exchanging energy. And before you were really happy and bubbly or up there, and then you went and was arguing with a low-level entity, and now you're down in the dumps like them. And they took your energy, and they're gone. Don't do it to yourself. Their words that they have to say about you does not define you at all. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are amazing. You are made in God's image. Period. So tune out the noise. Tune out the bush. And keep yourself on that beautiful, high vibrational energy. 5D, baby. All right? And remember, they're going to eat the words. They're going to eat the words. They're going to eat the words. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go. I love you. God loves you more. And I will be back. Have a great, amazing day.